Hello everyone, it is Abby here from The Blue Barnett. I am here today with this tutorial for how to create the shenanigans welcome door hanger sign that you um, saw on and purchased on my Etsy page. Um, so when you open the box, you should have this wooden round, um, various paints, brushes, um, a makeup sponge, um, all these 3D cutouts, and you should have some greenery in a bow. So to start, you're gonna get everything out of the way and you are just gonna have this wooden door hanger in front of us with one of these sponges and the white paint. So to begin, we're gonna use this white paint and this sponge to paint inside of this tape. So that includes the sides as well. We do not do the back, but just so you know, there is a rope hanger already attached on the back and just taped down to keep it out of your way. But you do wanna, I would suggest starting with the sides to get those just right out of the way. And then you're just gonna do a couple light coats of white on the inside of this tape. Um, you want to achieve full coverage by way of several light coats rather than one heavy coat. It's just gonna be the best for um, dry time. If you just start lathering the paint on, it's gonna take forever to dry. You're gonna stick your arm in it, et cetera. Um, so it's just best to do several light coats. Once you have the first coat done, you're gonna notice that it might look a little bit streaky. That's totally fine. Once you add, start adding the second coat, you're gonna notice that it goes on much smoother and all those lines will start to disappear. Okay, so now that this um, is all set, I'm gonna actually set this aside. So eventually we're gonna have to take this tape off and we're gonna use the tape again and move it on to this white section to create a new line um, between the white and this next stain color that we're gonna use. So you don't want to stick tape onto anything that's even a little bit tacky. So we need this to dry very well. So for now, I'm just gonna set that aside and I'm gonna get all of these pieces in front of me. So when you're laying this out, um, take your time to figure out um, like the way that the letters go. Um, you can look at my sample um, picture if you need to, but it, I know it can get tricky to figure out like which way the S goes. Um, so just take your time to figure that out. Don't be afraid to look at the, the um, sample. But once you have those laid out, they don't have to be even in order. You just want to make sure you know which way is front and back. Um, you are going to get the black paint pod here and I always advise just dumping these right out onto like a plate it makes it um, or a tray or anything it makes it a lot easier to work with and then you're going to use um, the makeup sponge that's in your kit and I like to hold it by the pointy end and use the flat end to dab so you're just going to dip a little into the black and you're just going to dab all of these letters black and the black does coat very um, very evenly and very well so you really only need to do one coat on these but it again it's your preference um, then afterwards if you have a pair of scissors you can trim the end of this off and use this for the green paint as well and that's what you're going to be doing with this shamrock okay so you should just have two um, colors in these paint pods one is the black and one is the green and you're going to be using the makeup sponge to paint all of these so now that I have all of those pieces painted, I'm gonna get I'm gonna set those aside and get this board back in front of me. And now I'm gonna take off this tape, but I am gonna use it again. So make sure you are being careful with it. And now I'm just gonna set it up here on the white. So the white that you just painted, now you're gonna set that there, and that's gonna be the line now between these two colors. Okay, so just like that. Um, so now you want to do that to this one and this top one, and then you are going, going to start staining it. You can see here that I've already started, but I will show you. Um, when you go to apply this, this is not like a regular stain, but it's also not a paint. It's called a wax. So when you apply this, it's it, you can't just put it on the board like you would a paint because it, it's just going to sit on the surface. It needs to be rubbed into the board um, to seep into the grain. So I always start by actually just painting the edges because that part doesn't really matter. 
but then on the the front when you apply this you can paint a little on but see you can see it's it's just it doesn't apply like a paint so you're gonna have to just take your paper towel take a paper towel and then just go and rub it in and you can see how far a little bit goes and how it lightens it up so much more than if you were to just paint it on so my advice is to just do little sections at a time because if it sits in one area for too long then it will make that it will make spots darker than others and you do want it to be like more of an even tone okay so you can go ahead and do that and when you are finished you can take the tape right off it does not need to be completely dry so next you're just going to want to place these letters on here without gluing these are not glued down yet um so you just before you start gluing you do want to just place them on here to get a feel for the layout um, and how much space you want in between each letter and how you want everything. This is how I laid it out, but you can honestly do whatever you want. It's totally up to you. But once you're happy with where everything is, you can get your paint pod labeled glue. And there's also a Q-tip. So you're going to use this Q-tip to just dip it in the glue and then just apply it to the back of these letters and set it down. So while this glue does technically dry clear, it you you don't want to set uh, the piece down and then be moving it around because it will leave um, like kind of like a residue so that you will be able to see even though it does dry clear. So you just want to make sure that you are happy with the placement and then just kind of go letter by letter um, to glue it all down. Once everything is glued, you can grab your greenery and your um, bow. And then when you attach these, I always like to use a staple gun. If you don't have a staple gun, you can always do hot glue or something um, or something else. Um, I always prefer this. And then I lay the greenery kind of like in a, in a shape like this. And then I'll just put a staple here, a staple here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and staple this bow down. Um, if in the box it got flattened, it is just a wired ribbon, so you can fluff it um, to get the shape back. And depending on where you want it, um, you can just start um, stapling these um, tails down. I also like to put uh, a couple staples in these loops too, and that kind of like holds down the shape. Um, but again, it's totally up to you how you want everything to look. But I'm just going to go ahead and do that. Okay, so now I let loose my rope hanger. And everything is stapled. Everything is glue. I Everything is glued. I almost forgot this little dot on top of my eyes. So don't be like me and don't forget that. Um, but now your project is complete. So thank you so much um, for purchasing this DIY kit and following along with this tutorial and I hope that you will join us again next month. Thank you. Have a good day.